world of chaos, there existed a ruler, Marcus Aurelius, whose wisdom transcended the throne and the tumult of war. His reign over Rome from 161 to 180 AD was marked not only by power, but by a profound sense of equanimity, a calm amidst the storm. Unlike other rulers, he didn't let the allure of the throne corrupt his sense of justice. In the quiet corners of the palace, he penned down his reflections, which later formed the fabric of Stoic philosophy, encapsulated in the timeless pages of Meditations. As we traverse through the rumbles of our daily lives, the lessons from Marcus Aurelius stand as a lighthouse for those lost in the tempest of emotions and events. Today we'll be unveiling the five life lessons from this sage that holds the essence of living a life of tranquility amidst chaos. Before we delve deeper, a little tap on the subscribe button will ensure you don't miss out on the wisdom of the ancients distilled in our upcoming videos. So go ahead and click subscribe. Lesson 1. Learn to control your emotions. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice Marcus professed. Emotions are like turbulent waters. They can drown us if left unchecked. It's not about denying what we feel, but channeling our emotions towards constructive ends. Feel the rage, but let it fuel your passion for justice, not blind vengeance. Emotions, when mastered, become a source of strength, not weakness. Marcus believed that our emotional reactions are within our control. It's a choice to respond with anger or understanding. Every situation that stirs up emotions is an opportunity, a teacher in disguise, offering lessons to master our inner world. By detaching from the immediate emotional reactions, we allow reason to illuminate the path. In the grand tapestry of life, every emotional wave we surf with grace adds to our character, makes us more resilient and brings us closer to the stoic ideal of tranquility. So, the next time the storms of emotions rage, remember the choice is yours. Will you let the storm toss you around, or will you become the master of your sea? Before we sail into the next lesson, if you're enjoying this voyage into the depths of Stoic wisdom, why not give the like button a gentle tap? Marcus might say, the only way to crush the Thumbs Down Brigade is to outnumber them with the Thumbs Up Brigade. A little humor, a little wisdom. Lesson 2. Train your perception. Marcus once said, Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. A simple yet profound statement. Our perception is the lens through which we view the world. It's like the color of glasses we wear. If they are tainted with negativity, so will be our view. Training our perception is about cleaning this lens. Seeing events as they are, not worse than they are. It's about detaching our emotional judgments from the reality that unfolds. Our minds have the tendency to color the events, painting them in shades of good or bad, based on past experiences or future fears. It's a habit that veils the truth. Marcus urged us to break free from this habitual coloring, to see the world in its pristine form. It's like wiping the dust off a window to let the clear light shine through. By training our perception, we don the armor of resilience. The arrows of misfortune may fly our way, but they can't pierce us. They may touch us, but can't wound us, for our shield is the clarity of perception the truth of seeing things as they are. It's a practice, a lifelong endeavor, a path to the tranquil mind, Marcus, so elegantly epitomized. Lesson three, exercise the dichotomy of control. Marcus Aurelius enshrined the concept of focusing on what's within our control and letting go of what's not. It's like being in a boat amidst a storm we can't control the storm, but we can steer our boat, ensuring we don't capsize amidst the tempest. Every situation we encounter holds these two realms, the controllable and the uncontrollable. Our peace of mind sprouts from this simple distinction. 
When we engage with what's within our control and let go of the rest, we sail smoothly even amidst life's storms. It's about aligning our efforts with the flow of life, not against it. When we struggle against the uncontrollable, we entangle ourselves in a web of anxiety and disappointment. The beauty of practicing this dichotomy is the blossoming of acceptance and action. Acceptance for what's beyond our grasp and action for what's within our reach. It's a dance between surrender and endeavor that leads to a state of harmonious flow with life's unfolding narrative. For those yearning to delve deeper into the Stoic philosophy, I've curated a list of some enlightening reads available on Amazon. Check the pinned comment below and embark on a journey through the minds of the Stoic sages. Your quest for wisdom might just find its companion in those pages. Lesson 4. Embrace the virtues. Virtue is the sole good, a belief Marcus held close to his heart. Virtues like wisdom, justice, courage and moderation are the compass that guides us through the mazes of life. They are the unseen hands that mold our character into something admirable and resilient. Virtues are not just abstract concepts but living practices that illuminate our path. In the realm of virtues, every action we take is a step towards a life of moral excellence. It's about making choices that reflect our higher selves, that resonate with the core of goodness within us. Marcus believed that in embodying virtues, we align ourselves with the fundamental order of the universe, a harmony that transcends the mundane chaos. As we walk the path of virtues, we become lighthouses, beacons of goodness in the world, our actions inspire others to tread on the path of righteousness. In the words of Marcus, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. It's an invitation to embody the virtues, to live them, and in doing so, elevate not just our lives, but the world around us. Lesson 5. Embrace a broader perspective. Marcus urged us to see life from a higher vantage point, when bogged down by trivial issues, it's akin to being lost in the maze. But if we could rise above and see the maze from above, the path becomes clear. It's about not getting entangled in the minutia, but to have a broader outlook on life. A perspective that zooms out to see the grand narrative. In this broader view, the petty annoyances lose their grip, the trivialities fade away, making room for what truly matters. It's like clearing the clouds to reveal the stars. The challenges we face are but tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. This perspective is not about belittling our experiences, but about rising above the pettiness that often entangles our minds. Marcus's wisdom invites us to live life with a sense of grandeur, to embrace a narrative larger than our fleeting concerns. It's about being part of the cosmic play, yet not losing ourselves in the roles we play. A broader perspective is like the North Star, guiding us through the murky waters towards a life of significance and serenity. As we draw the curtains on the reflections of Marcus Aurelius, let's not forget that the essence of his teachings is about navigating life with a sense of poise and wisdom. If you found a speck of wisdom in today's journey through the annals of time, do make sure to hit the like button and share it with those you care about. Till our next voyage into the wisdom of yore, stay curious and never stop exploring.